Apple is back with yet another developer beta and this update comes with a lot of subtle changes. And this is one thing that I've noticed in this year's update is that they're not making some grand changes to the UI, but they are making some subtle changes, some subtle fixes that are basically improving the whole experience. So let's see what are these changes in developer beta 4. So let's start with lock screen customization. So we all know that this year's USB in iOS 16 was lock screen customization. And with each update, be it developer beta or public beta, they have made changes to this feature. So in public beta 1, we saw a great new change in lock screen music player. But in this update, there are further iterations to this. The size of thumbnail for the music album's cover is now increased and the rounded corners have been reduced. Next up is iMessage. So we have already seen Apple talking about unsending and editing sent messages in WWDC. But with this update, users will now have option to have a look at edit history of these messages. And I know what you're thinking. Don't worry, only you can see the edited messages. Along with this, the time limit of unsending a message has now been reduced from 15 minutes to 2 minutes, after which you'll be able to only edit the message till 15 minutes. Now let's talk about wallpaper customization. Under the wallpapers tab in settings, when you customize the current home screen wallpaper, you get the legibility blur toggle at the different location than previous beta. And as I mentioned, these are some UX UI changes that are making the whole experience a little better. Talking about wallpaper, you also get a new wallpaper with this update, but it hasn't rolled out for all users. And if you have used iPhone 6s before, be prepared to get a hit of nostalgia. Talking about lock screen, notifications were also completely redesigned and one of the major announcements of WW event was live activities. And with developer beta 4, the API for live activities is finally here for developers. So now they can make use of this amazing feature and integrate applications intuitive live activity on the lock screen itself. Now this is one feature that is completely new and I don't think it was announced in WW event. There is something called nearby devices and it is placed very deep inside of accessibility in settings tab. And when you click on it, this will basically let you control a certain amount of actions of other Apple products linked to the same Apple ID. This is very interesting because earlier this was limited to Apple Watch, but now you get this feature on iPhone as well. This basically allows you to scroll down to the bottom of the page, press the home button, access Siri on iPad or another iPhone. It's a pretty nice feature, but at this point it's kind of buggy and it almost never works. But yeah, I think it is cool to have it. Apart from this, there were a lot of bugs that were fixed in this update to make experience a lot better. And that's it for this update and this video. Do let me know what are your thoughts about developer beta 4 in the comment sections down below. And if you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button and download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store if you like to stay updated with everything Apple. This is me, you're signing off and I'll see you in the next one.